So the rocker arms inspection. Um, right, so I'm going to keep this in order. Internal, let's give it a squirt. Will be limits fourteen. So. I'm getting fourteen. Spindles look all right. There's a bit of a ridge. with that I can actually live with this uh, what's the shaft does it say like an arm shaft let's check these cups also okay Thirteen point nine six six white off. It's well in. Fourteen two. good the only thing is these but I wouldn't call it excessive but maybe looks worse than it is it's a bit of flatting basically Okay, so that was the right hand. Right, 
Right, we're just going through um, these cylinder heads. So just, it's quite a long drawn out process. So initially these were disgustingly dirty. So I glass beaded and cleaned it all, minus the uh, gasket. So my initial thought was these were going to be shot and just try and get a replacement, but um, looking at them, they're not too bad at all. With that in mind, let's take some measurements, see where we are. There's two options, either get a new head, I'm pretty sure these exhaust valves are worn guides and valves actually so it's either replacement the valves and the guides which means getting a special tool uh, to ream this guide and insert it and also it means cutting these as well to match the centre of the new guide. So it's the dilemma is getting some second hand head, is it really going to be any different from this? Because looking there's no obvious damage, there's no cracks anywhere here, there's no corrosion really. So we'll go from there. So following this, so valve inspection, exhaust and inlet is 6.54 mil. So Point five four so it is in just six point five six I'm getting there and I'm looking at the valve seat I think it's termed got a little 10 times which is quite handy stuff like this I don't know how you, how you can see that but Put your eye, it's a bit hard on this camera, but you can get a really good close up when there's no reflections. And actually this, I thought this would be a bit uh, concave, so it'll be a bit like this. And it, that's the worn bit, but it's not actually too bad. So that's such a good. So measuring spring lengths, we just get the verniers. Uh, this exhaust, 
48.4, so we're looking for more than that. Or is it more, actually? The spring gets weaker. I guess it loses its... Uh, And this is forty eight point five. I'm looking for this one mil bigger. So as a spring gets weaker. It's not going to compress. So actually, the springs are a bit worn. I think. So if the spring gets weaker, it's the spring wants to expand. So if it loses its springiness, it's just going to want to try and go that way. That's its natural thing. So I actually think they're out of limits by one mil. I don't think it's the end of the world, but we'll see how much they cost. So where are we? These little cups. Nothing to worry about really. That looks okay. And right, so now we're looking at problem I think the major problem so this is right hand cylinder correct sits on the bike that's not the right hand fucking head it's a left hand head Right, that's the left hand head. There, the right hand head. There. Doesn't matter. Right, so what I was saying, these valve seats look quite good. There's not, there's a little bit of pit in there, or threatening, I think you probably call it. And the nail is. But it, that'll rub out when you do lap the, uh, the valves and valve guides this is what I'm looking at so this is right hand forward outboard valve exhaust right hand forward outboard which will be this here a bit of movement so it is a bit sloppy but how sloppy it's supposed to be I'm not sure so we'll just have to go by this and small ball gauges just eating a biscuit So 
so exhaust internal diameter is 6.7 we're getting a 6.8 the other one 6.8 and So the top's okay. Six point seven five. Hmm, it's not too bad. I mean, and the valve's okay. Just. 6.75 7 6.57 7 so we're getting 0.23 service limit is 0.10 now summarise what we've got at the end so last last valve to measure up on the uh, right hand head so not too bad so the, the inlets okay the spring length is okay I think you are measuring that it's not less than 48.4 I'm getting 50 something and that just indicates this wear basically more than if it's lost its springiness um, there's a bit of pit in when you look under this uh, about 10 times you can see some kind of marks but apart from that it's not too bad and I'm just checking this last one so I'm finding this is the worst part where it's worn, if anything. So it's 56, 5, 4, so it's bang on. And the guide is uh, what, what's this one? Right hand aft inboard this one uh, in
So the exhaust valves are point, let's call it point two, the limit's point one, but everything else is good. No cracks. I don't know if it's square, but we're gonna skim that anyway. On like a granite top. A little bit of corrosion, nothing. That's just where the water jacket would go, I guess. Yeah. Think about it. Valve guides may be replaced. We'll see. Same process on the other side. Right, so left hand head. Go, uh, we'll try and get through this quick. So I've got the technique. Um, so left hand forward inboard. So left hand forward inboard exhaust this puppy worst bit there right on the kind of tip of the edge this will be six, seven, five, six, seven. Five, that is uh, point, that's nearly in. I'm actually happy with that. And measuring I'm going to quick look at these, make sure there's nothing horrendous. Um, this, use a brass wheel, just clean it up. You can actually see on this where it's, it's um, what do we call it, fusion welded. So this bit here is different material to this. Because that's hardened and that's a hard material that. There's a bit of uh, damage on the tips there. Yeah, not looking the best, is it? It's gone like a golden ink of a brass wheel. But anyway, we'll measure this. So six, 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 seven. Seven. And six, 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 call it. Okay, let's go for six. And this is left hand forward inboard. Left hand forward. Inboard will be this one. Six, six, three, 
6.63, that's well in. Quite new. I think all I'm going to do is get some new, new valves. There is some pit in. When you look through this, it looks horrendous, it looks like the moon. I don't know if you can see. It looks nothing really. But under a microscope it is. Okay, that's good. So there the exhaust, I'm guessing the inlets are fine. We'll give them a quick check. So there's one more exhaust, the outboard. Did I do that? I can't remember. I guess not because I'll still shit it up. It's done forward outboard valve. So this is this one. Okay, so I did measure this. A bit confused then. And this should be six six. Six. six, 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 the devil. Good enough. So, yeah, again, same problem. Four, six, five, six, which is... So the valves are in, but the guides aren't. Seven, six, five, seven. That's fine. And what's this? Left hand, aft, outboard. Do this. Seven, four. It's actually out of limits. I don't believe it.
Okay, so I'm going six, six, three. So, so that's point uh, six, isn't it? That's okay, anyway. That's left on there. Sonic, nice and clean. Okay, okay, okay. enough yeah, okay right last one six six seven uh, which is well in Five seven, sorry. Okay. Yep. Fine. And it is the left hand aft inboard valve. Left hand aft inboard. Oh no, six, six, four, six, six, four, uh, so it's eight. Seven, sorry, point seven, not oh, seven, so that's okay. Also, so we'll be in, right, so to summarise problems now. The head is totally fine. I need to squirt some oil on there. Just, just to protect them a bit. The things that are out of limits, so the guy, right hand cylinder, exhaust valve, both guides are US, out of limits, inboard, the fine, everything checks. The left hand cylinder, exhaust, is out of limits just, I could live with that, and I could live with that, because it's still in limits. The left hand cylinder is good. Big fat tick. So on the right hand cylinder, two exhaust valves. It would be a good idea to change the exhaust valves because they are pitted quite under a microscope. You do see a lot of damage. All the inlets are fine. Wings are fine, heads are fine, no cracks. I need to clean this off. I'm going to skim it anyway on a block and just rub it, rub it, um, rib it. What's, what's the name? Rub it uh, smooth, skim it, that's the word. As much as I can in these kind of facilities. Um, can't get the spark plug out, just don't have a socket that fits in there at the moment. So, there you go. I can't remember if I measured previously the rockers, 
but I have taken notes in here and everything's okay so I don't see if there's any need it's just basic stuff so that's it engine measurements complete now on to painting and the reassembly